Virtual reality, drones, and connected cars. We're at CES in Las Vegas. In your Tech Top 3, we'll take a look at some of the biggest announcements and trends here at the show. Sony announced a suite of devices designed for the home and home entertainment. There was a particular focus on the aesthetics of these devices, like a glass tube that houses a light bulb and doubles as a speaker. For its 4K TV, Sony debuted Ultra, a service that will let users download and stream content. That's important because the lack of 4K content could stall the progression of the format. Look up in the sky, is that a drone following you? AirDog showed off a more polished version of its tracking drone that will start shipping this year. You tether a small tracker onto your arm and then the drone follows you, getting sweeping, impressive shots along the way. Battery life is only 14 minutes, so do whatever you're doing quickly. At Parrot, there was the Disco Drone, which is a wing drone that can fly up to 50 miles per hour, but the form factor means it can't hover like others. Last in our top three is virtual and augmented reality. The HTC Vive Pre will start shipping in April, and it's one of the most impressive VR devices we've seen at the show. Holding controllers in each hand, you can interact with objects in a 3D space. Helping to improve the accuracy are two lighthouses that track you as you move in a 15 by 15 foot grid. On the control side was Usense, an SDK that can track your hands, allowing you to interact with virtual objects. In focus this week is a vertical that has exploded here at CES in the past few years, cars. At Volkswagen, there was the Buddy, an all-electric concept car with a range of 233 miles. It can be charged to 80% capacity in 30 minutes. VW said it could be a reality by the end of the decade. Audi placed an important emphasis on the cloud with its concept car, the e-tron Quattro. It will be able to anticipate your destinations after analyzing your driving habits and POIs. Of course, that brings up some privacy concerns, but the strategy is a unique one that could leverage the millions of miles driven each year to help make autonomous driving safer. Ford said that Apple CarPlay and Android Auto would come to vehicles with Sync 3 by the end of the year. It also showed off how cars will integrate with Amazon's voice assistant, Alexa, so that you could, for example, ask it to start your car from inside the house. Ford also showed off a new LiDAR sensor from Velodyne. LiDAR is an essential component for self-driving cars, and now that it's smaller with no moving parts, it will be easier to integrate onto the next generation cars. An important note before we go, this will be my last wrap and last World Tech Update. After eight rewarding years, I'll be moving on from IDG. Thank you to my colleagues, and especially to you for making World Tech Update and all of our videos a success. Your comments and views have always meant a lot. I'm Nick Barber, and for the last time, that's a wrap. Thanks, everyone.